Hello, my name is Katherine Shortliff. I'm the engagement manager at Fruitlands Museum in Harvard, Massachusetts. We're a property of the Trustees, which is Massachusetts' largest and oldest land conservation and preservation organization, with 118 properties across the Commonwealth. Today, I am going to take you behind the scenes of Greta Gerwig's new Little Women film, which was filmed on location in Massachusetts in 2018, including four properties of the Trustees. Those properties included Castle Hill at the Crane Estate in Ipswich, as well as Crane Beach in Ipswich, the Bradley Estate in Canton, and Fruitlands Museum, specifically this building that's right behind me. So this is the Shaker Gallery at Fruitlands, and in the movie, it served as Meg's house. Um, so you may recognize this exterior from the film. Um, what you might not have realized is that this is actually not a house. Um, it was originally built in 1794 as the office for the Harvard Shaker Village. Um, so today we're going to check it out and hear a little bit about what it takes to film within a historic structure. So right now I'm standing at what would normally be the back door to this building. We typically enter from the front. Our visitors enter from the front when they're here at the museum. Um, but this is the angle that was used for the film. Um, and so here you can see what it looked like for the film, kind of dressed up for its film debut. A few notable differences, of course, are the entryway, the pediment over the door, um, which because this is a historic structure could not be affixed to the building. What you can also see from this angle, which we were thrilled to have included in the film, is this red house that did make it um, in the background of a few of the shots. And this red house is the Fruitlands Farmhouse, which is where Louisa May Alcott, the author of Little Women, and her family lived in 1843 as part of a transcendental commune called Fruitlands that her father, Bronson Alcott, and a man named Charles Lane had founded. They spent only seven months here, but it was a really impactful seven months that later influenced Louisa May Alcott's writing. So to have that direct Alcott connection um, with the filming was something that was really special to us and also really special um, to Greta Gerwig and thinking about filming here in Massachusetts. So this room served as a set of a kitchen area. And in the film, there's a nighttime scene where Meg and John, played by Emma Watson and James Norton, are sitting at their kitchen table discussing finances and the price of some fabric that she had recently purchased for a dress um, and kind of just the financial struggles they have as a as a couple. Um, so you can see in these behind the scenes photos um, the color on the walls and the set. When normally in this space these are the colors on the walls. Um, so that yellow is consistent within the film, as is the red. Um, but this plaster part of the wall is typically white and has now been returned to being white. Um, and that was a very specific uh, need on our end in caring for this building, um, was that the plaster portion of the wall we were able to allow that portion to be painted, um, but the woodwork needed to be kept as is. Um, and that is really with some of this historic paint analysis that we have available on the woodwork. Okay, now this room, which was also another set, and you're really getting a behind the scenes look right now, because um, this is in the middle of being reinstalled as uh, with a new exhibit. Um, but this room was a bedroom set. And so you can see that here in this photo of Laura Dern that was used in um, a lot of the promotional materials, including in Vanity Fair, when first shots were released of the film. Uh, now you may be surprised to hear that Laura Dern did shoot on location here because her scenes did not um, get included in the film, that her scenes that were specifically at Fruitlands did not get included in the film, um, but she was here as well. 
So in this room, you notice again, the painting that was done to make the set. Um, so this one's a little bit more dramatic, um, but the color was matched to the chair wheel woodwork, um, and they were able to paint both this top level and lower level of plaster. At all times when the film crew was working in any historic structure, including during filming, we had a member of the trustees curatorial team present to ensure the safety of the space. That was a special consideration of filming within historic structures, and the film crew was absolutely wonderful to work with. We've had so much fun seeing our sights up on the big screen, and we hope you have seen and enjoyed the film as well. Hope you enjoyed the tour, and thanks for joining me today.